takes in. And finally, on the fifth day, we learnt about God and Lord can deliver us. Thank you for listening, and I hope that next year I may see a big number of children attending the camp meeting. I remain the news reporter, Bridget Kakundi, from the Mount Children Department. Amen. Thank you very much, Bridget Kakundi. Dear parents, make sure that you send us for the next camp meeting so that we don't miss out on this one. Dear listeners, in the month of August, Mount Holyoke Church sent our dear teacher for, for further skills. Let me call upon Teacher Maggie to come and tell us what happened that time. Good morning and happy Sabbath Church. Thank you for tuning in to our session this morning. On the 13th to the 16th of August this year, I was able to attend uh, ECD, the East and Central African Division uh, Convention that took place in Arusha, Tanzania. It was a very wonderful experience to me. We had various leaders, very powerful leaders, including Pastor Precious Buguri, who is the president of the ECD. We were able to be with our dear sister, Sister Linda Ho, who is the leader of, and director of the children's department in the ECD, in the general conference level. Our dear sister, Sister Debbie Maloba, was also available. Oh my goodness, I wish she was there. It was such a wonderful experience. She is the president of the children's department in the children's ministry in the ECD level. They took us through various topics which were very interesting and really benefited a lot, including some of them were parenting skills. As parents and parents to be, we all need all these skills and they were very, very important. We got to know how to how to appreciate celebrations with our little children. Some of, some of these gifts are very important. Like for example, today, it is the Children's Day. We really thank you, the church, for giving us this day. We really feel honored and we really thank you from our hearts. It gives us a feeling that you all love us. We also had ways, we also, we were, we also learned on ways of uh, dealing with alcohol and drugs as parents with the young ones that we have. And also, uh, they also took us through some of the topics like uh, involving the children in the ministry and in the service. There's so many ways in which you can involve these kids in the ministry and in service. For example, the welfare department normally calls up kids to give, share, and which is very good. Parents, church, guardians, and everyone, we please call upon you to come forward and team up with, team up with us as teachers as we train these children. Because when we train these children, it means we are building a child for tomorrow. If we want to have a strong child for tomorrow, we need to start by training these children today. Amen? Amen. That was the thing that we had when we were in Arusha. Train a child today, build a very strong child for tomorrow. I have been your presenter, Margaret Ondara Ratemo, Mount Olive's Church. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, teacher Maki. Parents, I think you can. Let's send, let's send all our teachers for, for further schools so that they may handle us. <laughs> okay. The last reporter is Given while Kembe and Jewel Matoya, they come to us with news from the Campari in America. Let's listen to them. Good morning, Judge. Good morning. My name is Gillian. I'm going to present to you about my at the International Pathfinder Council. This program took place from the 11th to the 17th of August. It was held at Wisconsin, Oshkosh in the USA, United States of America. The Campari was based on being forever faithful. We were mainly looking at Daniel. I was forever faithful to God. It did not matter what, when, even though King Darius had said the Lord that everyone was supposed to pray to him. He continued to pray to God no matter him, but no matter what was going to happen to him, he knew that God would deliver him in the end. Us as children, what we benefit from this? I will see that God can help us through any troubles, and we should put God first before everything. Then before going to school or going home. You know that anything can happen. But when you put God first, 